forecast. We've got clouds and a couple of showers that limit our cooling this morning, so we'll call it drop into around 46 degrees to start the day for many as we do have those temperatures even getting nudged up with that mild start. Sunrise is 710 as we go through with these last couple of showers here. The next couple of hours they are drifting east pretty fast. Notice by 7, just a couple of sprinkles far northeast Tennessee. So a couple more develop and move through. Clouds move out. Plenty of sun for your afternoon. Plenty of warmth and winds before some clouds. A little stray shower will start to trickle back up into our area for tonight. So in between today, like I said, those winds go up. We'll have gusts between 15 and 30 miles per hour at times. They increase especially late morning through the afternoon. That's when we find some occasionally stronger winds pushing up those temperatures today too. So with those mid 40s to start, we warm to 61 at 11. There's a lot more sunshine here for your afternoon, but of course those winds to go with it. So it is warm and windy, 70 degrees your high today. So we wrap out with those extra clouds. We again have just that stray shower with those winds occasionally gusting 20 to 40 miles, 20 to 30 miles per hour, excuse me, today, warming us up to around 70 from Knoxville to Loudoun to 68 today, Crossville in Jamestown and La Follette. Easily warming to around 66 degrees today in Harlan to 67 in Morristown and 70 in Dandridge. Now those clouds that return tonight do bring in the next opportunity for rain, although it does quickly go to scattered tomorrow. So notice that's when we have a few showers and thunderstorms. Then tomorrow late morning to midday, we do have some scattered rain, general thunderstorms stirring around those gusts again, getting into the 30 to 40 miles per hour range. And this is all out ahead of our next cold front. So we'll actually stir up a little bit more intensity as we jump ahead to Wednesday. So tomorrow's still on the warm side. In fact, we'll be around 56 tomorrow morning with all those clouds already 64 at noon with a high tomorrow of 71. But again, that comes with more of that scattered rain and storms during the day. Also daytime for Wednesday is another reason why I'm adding a WVLT first alert weather day for Wednesday. Notice the leading edge of the cold front is blowing in during the day. I mean, it's downpours, gusty winds, thunderstorms adding up to impact roads, especially midday when we are cut off on warming and temperatures then start dropping. So then you've got your heavy rain and rumbles of thunder rolling through lunchtime to the time the kids are getting out of school, two to three o'clock. There's some spotty snow showers on Wednesday. The biggest impact here is the fact that this is a cold front cooling things down by the time most folks are getting out of work. We'll have a couple of mountaintop snow showers there. And this is dumping pretty heavy rain, at least in relatively speaking in a short amount of time. We've got a half an inch to three quarters of an inch for most of our area and isolated one inch total rainfall. So it's just zipping through localized heavy rainfall can also impact those roads during the day on Wednesday. Again, that WVLT first alert weather day bringing us from around 70 midday Wednesday temperatures dropping down to 30 by Thursday morning. And then that'll leave us back to actually just below average on Thursday. But we are stirring around a few scattered showers to end the week. That'll help lift us back from 50s to 60s as we look ahead to your weekend.